I'm Susan Ockwell, Director of Optimism. And the question for today is, when is e-learning for health and safety a bad thing? Now, as much as e-learning can be a great thing, sometimes it will do more harm than help for your health and safety message. So here's just some five ways that it can actually do more harm than good. So firstly, it's when the module is actually all about the theory and it's all abstract. So this is when you um, get very excited about talking about the uh, risk matrix and the safety pyramid and all the other bits and pieces that you think people should know, but really the theory for its, its sake of it doesn't do anything for them, nothing changes. The second one is the info dump. This is where somebody finds everything they can about health and safety put it all in the module. And I think the idea behind that is that the more you know about the health and safety, the better you'll be at it, which we sort of know isn't true. The third one is when it gets legalistic. Now this often happens when you let the lawyers or the super health and safety professionals get involved in it and they like everything to be so exact and so perfect and they forget the fact that it's actually about training, not about being so accurate and perfect in the legislative world because they're not lawyers. The next one is when it's just so long. You know when you're doing a module and you just get depressed because you look down and you're at page 12 of 72 and it's just long. Or you see the little bar at the bottom and it's, it's here and you've got to get all the way to there. You just want to give up. The fifth one is when it's just text based. Yeah sure they might throw in an image every so often but it's really just text and next and honestly you might as well have just had a PDF document. Now as much as this not only does a bad thing for e-learning and makes e-learning look like a bad thing, it's actually worse for your health and safety messages because the people know that you're treating it like a tick box exercise and they know that because it's just a tick box exercise, nothing changes. And the real problem with that is it gives you, the organization, a false sense of security that you've trained people with health and safety, but nothing changes, no behavior changes. So if you really want great health and safety training, then what you need are real life scenarios, because that's the way that you get the people thinking about safety in their own workplace. You get them challenging them on their own safety behaviors in a way that's relevant to them, and it embeds your safe practices. So if you need help with that, just come to us, optimism.co.nz.